Hello and welcome to a new video review. This time about the Lupold Mark V, 5, 5 to 25 by 56. Lupult is a very known company, especially in United States, because the company has its headquarters in the Oregon state in Beaverton. Lupult is very known because they design machine and assemble all of their scopes uh, in their own facility, uh, except for the lenses, which Lupul takes from other vendors from all around the globe. Now, the Mark V series of rifle scopes is the latest series. And what is so special about this series is that all scopes feature a 5 times zoom factor magnification. They are very lightweight and are very short compared to rifle scopes from other brands with a similar magnification. They all feature this newly designed elevation turret. And what is also very special is that they choose a 35 millimeters main tube. Now for what is such a big main tube um, good? First of all, you get more elevation with the scope and the overall ruggedness because you can also choose to make the entire housing a bit more thick. Now as I said the scopes are made in USA and they are made from completely from aluminum. Also the internal parts are made entirely out of metal. Uh, alloys. The housing is argon perched, which means you can use the scope also in very cold environment and uh, the lenses internally will not start to fog uh, due to condensation. Now the scope is also waterproof and shockproof up to 50 BMG, so rated for all calibers. The length is 398 millimeters and weight is only 850 grams. So for a 5 to 25 magnification rifle scope, this is very lightweight. The magnification, as I said, goes from 5 all the way to 25 and the scope has a 56 mm objective lens. The outside diameter of the objective is 64.6 if you want to mount a clip-on uh, night vision or thermal device on the scope. The warranty is 10 years and the price starts yeah, at approximately 2,770 euros, but this is without illumination, uh, and the price goes all the way up to 3,070 euros approximately, but this is with illumination and with a Horus reticle. Now, for the reticles, the scope you can choose. Uh, with four reticles which can be illuminated and eight reticles without illumination. So this is really, really great that you have so many options to choose from. So every user can choose the reticle for his needs. Now this particular scope has the PR2 reticle inside, which is in the first focal plane and it is a Christmas tree style reticle. The illumination uh, is normally on this turret here, but this scope is without illumination. And you have seven intensity settings for the illumination if you choose the scope with illumination. There are also some settings for night vision use. 
and depending on the reticle either the middle part of the reticle is illuminated or the entire one. The illumination has also a motion sense technology which means that if the illumination is on but you put the rifle or rifle scope away and it doesn't feel any movement for five minutes the illumination goes automatically off to save the battery life so a really great feature but if you take the rifle scope and it feels some movement the illumination goes automatically back on on the setting you choose before the battery compartment is then also on this turret here and for the illumination you need only one CR2032 battery now for the IPs it has a fast focus IPs with really a lot of adjustment and it feels very very smooth as you would expect from such a premium rifle scope then the magnification ring feels also very very smooth and you come from the biggest to the smallest magnification in approximately 180 degree turn the magnification ring feels very nice so it is very well machined and as you can see the throw lever is included on the magnification ring if you want you can take this throw lever out and put this small screw inside if this throw lever is too big and now for my favorite part to the turrets and why my favorite part because I really really like these turrets I think they are they have the best design currently on the market because uh, now on the zero position the turret is locked and if you want to make some adjustment you have to push this small uh, button inside and then you can already make your adjustments when you come back this button pops immediately out so you are back uh, locked so you cannot make any uh, unwanted movement the clicks on this turret are in milliradian so you get exactly one centimeter of adjustment with one click at 100 meters the in uh, entire ele elevation adjustment of this turret is 30 mil the internal adjustment is 35 mil so even if you use a very canted rifle scope uh, rifle scope mount you can still uh, zero and use the entire 30 mil of elevation the turret goes also a few clicks below zero which is great if you use a thermal or night vision clip-on device because sometimes you have to make some small adjustments or if you zero the scope in let's say hot environment and then want to shoot in let's say in winter maybe you need a few clicks below now the clicks as you can hear are very audible and they feel very very nice they are not very stiff so it's very easy to move the turret but it's very let's say easy to make one single click it does not happen that if you want to make one click that you somehow make two or three because it's too stiff what is also special about the turret is that in one revolution you don't get 10 mil but 10.5 mil of travel why this is good because as you can see here the numbers are not over each other so you have really nice view 
when you come to the second revolution, then you have here 20, or in the third, you have here 30 mil. What I also really, really like about this turret is the turn indicator. As you can see, now this button is outside, but when you come to the second revolution, this button goes inside, so it doesn't stay out anymore. Now, because of this, you have a visual and a mechanical turn indication that you come to the second revolution. When you come to the third revolution, this part goes even further inside. So you now see this small hole from your shooter's perspective and also this small pin which pops out when you come to the third revolution. Now it's out and immediately back in. As I said, the scope has 30 mil of adjustment and the turret is extremely easy to zero. You just need the included hex wrench, loosen these two screws and make your adjustment so that the zero is facing forward. The parallax goes from 50 meters or yards all the way to infinity and you have a really lot of space to make fine adjustments even after three or four hundred meters or yards you still have a lot of adjustments for precise uh, parallax to fine-tune the parallax uh, why i said this because there are many scopes on the market which go to 100 or 200 meters and then you just have to make a small um, turn and you're already on the infinity uh, because uh, when you have such a turret like i said it is much more difficult because you have to make really small movements for the parallax on this turret whatsoever it's great it's really easy to fine tune now the vintage turret as you can see it is capped the cap is also made out of aluminum and under this cap is a normal uh, tactical turret so even if you use the scope without the cap the scope is still uh, dust proof and waterproof the clicks are also extremely audible so you hear every single click and they have also a very really really, really uh, nice feel to it uh, also this turret is not very stiff but i think a little bit more than the elevation turret yeah the clicks are also in milleradian on this scope and in each direction of the windage you get 5 mil of adjustment now also from the other side now i really like such a design because you have a hard stop when you come to the end of travel of this turret uh, why is this important in my opinion because you could easily now go further and back to zero and like this you would make a error of a whole revolution so in this case an error of approximately 10 mil with such a stop this is not possible you have to go back to zero to the opposite direction the line here is your indicator where your turret, turret is at and it is not in the middle as almost all, all other brands have from the shooter's perspective 
you can see this line better. I can confirm that, it is really easy to see this uh, line, but where I see some room for improvement is that the line is far away from the turret. Like this, you can easily uh, make, let's say, an error of one or two clicks with the turret. So, yeah, it would be, in my opinion, a bit better if the line would go somehow to the turret itself. The travel from the vintage turret is 17.5 mil, the internal travel, and left, right, 5 mil. So, more that than enough for extended long range shooting. The vintage turret is also very easy to zero in. You just have to unscrew these three screws and turn the turret back so the zero is facing this line here. Okay, now for the optical properties. I have to say the scope is optically extremely good. You see really really great details uh, even on the biggest magnification and you have no tunneling effect. The image has true uh, colors and you have a really crisp image also on the edges. The field of view on the 5 times magnification is 6.82 meters at 100 meters and at 25 times zoom it's 1.4 meters at 100 meters. Now this is not the let's say benchmark, there are scopes with a similar magnification with bigger field of view but it is still let's say very big field of view. The eye relief uh, is from 91 to 97 millimeters, so you can easily shoot with this also on the 50 BMG because um, yeah, you have a big eye relief. And the eye box is also very very good, so it is easy to have a great picture even if you move with your head a little bit around. What do you get in the box with the rifle scope? First of all the flip up covers which are made from some kind of hard plastic but they actually feel very very nice. Then a sunshade a loophole sticker, this small screw which comes instead of the throw lever if you don't like it, a hex wrench for zeroing of your turrets and the owner's manual with everything you need to know about this scope. Okay, I hope I set all about the scope and now for a short summary first of all the positives what do I like about the scope is the build quality it is really well machined especially the elevation turret it is it is just perfect yeah, I really really enjoy this turret the optical uh, quality is on, a, on the highest level, as we would expect from such a premium rifoscope. The clicks are very audible, tactile, you can feel every single click. The elevation with 30mm is very much, even for ELR shooting. Then that you get the integrated throw lever is also a nice feature and that you can choose 
if you want the illuminated rifle scope or no illumination because without illumination it's uh, much less expensive than with the illumination so if you know you don't need the illumination you can just uh, let the illumination out and save a few euros now where do I see some room for improvements first of all as I said for with this line here for the vintage turret it's not so easy to see precisely you, uh, you can really make one or two clicks of uh, an error if because the line is too far away from the turret then the parallax I would love to see if the parallax goes even further down let's say from 10 meters all the way to infinity because then you could zoom on very short uh, range targets with the biggest magnification for great detail or let's say very precise shots lastly the 35 millimeters main tube I would not say this needs an improvement but there are not so many options of mounts available especially at, in Europe for now uh, 34 millimeters main tube has just a lot of more uh, options to choose from okay this was a short video review of the Bluepolt Mark 5 5 to 25 by 56 if you have any additional questions click the link below and if you enjoyed please like and subscribe thanks for watching